what's up my shining stars i hope you're shining bright not letting anybody dim that light yes that light that light your light your purpose your destiny what you came here to do is shine shine so bright all right so you let nobody knock you off your throne you let nobody dim what's what's yours it's part of who you are shining bright let it be known show the world who you are my name is trinity and welcome to my channel all about the healing mwah, mwah, mwah. to my new sis <laughs> mwah, mwah, mwah. for my ride and dies that's been rocking with me from the beginning of my time wait guys wait for a second You are blessed. I just got through eating, so I got stuff in my in my uh, mouth. Okay, so let's get back to it. One, one, one. To my new subscribers, I'm honored. Welcome to the family. <laughs> so, sorry about that, guys. I just got through eating. But anyway, my riding dies, my day ones, my number ones, one, one, one. I don't want to shortchange it. I want to let you know that I'm loving you. Thank you for being my riding dies. Thank you for all the love, the attention, everything. Love it. Thank you for the emojis. All right. My new subscribers, like I said, welcome to the family. All right. I'm honored, right? My energy exchange, donations, tips, whatever you want to call it. All right. Thank you very much. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And more and back right back to you 10 hundred fold. Because what you sow here, you shall reap. All right. It will come back to you positive. It will come back to you with power. It will come back to you with anointing. Because this right here is good ground. All right. On the flip side, because it's good ground and because it is rooted, and I am rooted and one with the divine and have authority and appointed anointed elected chosen those of you that keep coming against or trying to come against my channel trying to come against me trying to compete with me trying to see if your power how powerful you are just know it's going to be returned back to you when it's returned back to you, you already broke, busted, and disgusted. You need to be trying to focus on you. Stop pouring all your energy in me, your time, your resources, your money. You going broke trying to harm me. You going broke trying to keep up with me. You going broke. You getting sick. You having illnesses. You having headaches. You have stomach pains. You having all these things all because... You want to try to stop me, and it ain't going to work. At the end of the day, it's not going to work, right? I will rise. I will always hide by it. I'm not going to dim my light. You're not going to stop this channel because I'm going to show up. I am determined to show up, okay? That is my destiny, and I will fulfill my destiny in spite of what you do and what you say. It is so, so be it and ah, shay. All right, so to flip all that, what we have here today, we're going to honor the sign of Gemini. Bam! There it is, Gemini. All right. So, what we got today, Gemini, as you already know, is a love reading, right? So, we're going to horn in to this love. Had to pick out a little extra cards for you because I needed to get some type of understanding. But I am going to dive deep in love. I'm going to uh, try to dig in to, the, to what's new, somebody that's new. Focus in on somebody new. You already know the deal. The your past is is going to be here. The past is 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 going to show up in your readings because they have healing and different things that they need to work out, and they're going to continue to project and continue to come into your readings 
because they have things that they have they have to work on. All right, but that has nothing to do with you. I'm going to dig into other aspects as well. I'm going to tell you about them and what their what their mindset is for your information. However, we're going to focus on new love and new new um and what that love may mean for you and how this person could be some of their characteristics if it comes out let's get into it first of all you got two we already know that the old and the new your new is the heart chakra the reason why this person is your your is your new person is because this person has healed this person has um, been through heartbreak. They've been through the ringer, just like you. They probably have a lot of similarities to you. Now, what Spirit is telling me is that some of you know this person. Some of you are already with this person. Some of you are secretly dating, secretly involved with someone. Don't nobody really know about it. But Spirit is saying... It doesn't, it doesn't matter. This person here, if you're with this person, I'm going to give you that information. If you're not, if you have not, and you're single, and you're celibate, and you're waiting, just know I'm going to give you the characteristic. I'm going to tell you about this person so you can take it and run with it. And what I mean by take it and run with it, put it in your mind, manifest it in, in, in your mind, accept it in your mind. Um, accept this person, open yourself up to this person that is coming in. This person has a beautiful, beautiful spirit, a heart, um, you know, a heart full of kindness, gentleness, not a pushover. This person is not a pushover because they've been through a lot um, and they have learned the lessons. They know who they want. They know who they are. Um, they are fully persuaded that you when they meet you that you will be their person when they meet you or if you've already met this person this person is fully persuaded that you are their person um hold on one second sorry about that my mouth is so dry okay so so what i was saying was i was in, in, getting into this energy this person have been through a lot this person has um went have had a lot of heartbreaks hardships um all the way from their childhood they have childhood issues issues abandonment their heart has truly been broken this is a, a was was a wounded soul a wounded soul so much so that in they have healed past lives traumas that's why this person, that's why this is in, you have Archangel um, Raphael healing. This person has healed their heart. And when I say healed their heart, I mean from past life experiences, trauma, this life trauma. This person has really, really went through the ringer and experienced a lot. But the thing about it, they learned a lot. This is a powerful person. When you can heal from past trauma, past hurt, past pain, and still be able to stand and go into something new. When you can take that pain and that suffering and everything that you went through and turn all of that into something positive, self-love for yourself, standing to make yourself powerful, learn the lessons, learn to release and let go and have the faith that is something better is life is better go for your life make a goals and dreams and go after it because you only got one life to live if you spend most of your life down in the dumps woulda coulda shoulda this person hurt me this person hurt me uh this this and that i i'm not this i'm not that you wasting your time. You wasting your effort. You have things that you have to do in this lifetime. You have to learn this lessons because people are waiting on you. People are waiting on you to get for your development so they can learn from you. You are, and everybody is a teacher. 
The thing about you can't teach somebody else something if you don't never learn your lessons. If you don't learn what you're supposed to learn, how are you going to reach one? You're not. You will forever be a person that has to learn from somebody else because you're not willing to heal and release and let things go that in this lifetime and in the past lifetimes, re release and let those things go and move forward in spite of what happened to you in your past. You still got a future. You still got a life. You still can live and make things better in this lifetime. That's what this person has done, okay? They have released that, let it go, and they are moving forward, healed, a better version of themselves, knowing who they are, um, and they're doing it from a space of unconditional love for themselves and for uh, other people that is around, and especially for that special someone, which is you, and fit you where you want to fit it in, okay? Now, of course, now, this card right here, it says, say goodbye. It says, do you like me? It says, I want to be more than friends. And, it, and then it says, I see you in my dreams. So, with this card right here, I had to draw this card because... I needed more information. And so what this is, this person here, this person here could be a friend. You might already know this person, but y'all really didn't connect. It could be a friend of a friend. You might meet them um, through a friend, but it's something dealing with a friend. Now, if it's not a friend, it don't really matter, okay? As long as you meet that person. But I think and I feel like it's going to be a friend of a friend. Um, an acquaintance. Um, you're going to meet this person by chance. And you guys going to click. And it's just going to be something um, significant about this person. And um, the, the other aspect. I'm trying to talk about the this person here more. Because you know you got your other person here. And I'm going to. Your other person want to know, are you still interested? They trying to peep you. They trying to look at your social media. They trying to dig deep in your background to see, you know, where you live at, what's going on. The same scenario. Trying to find out because this person, and I'm going to show you who they are. This person already knows and can feel that this person is coming in. Feel this new energy because this person is coming in from a space of unconditional love. When you come in in a space from unconditional love, it's felt. The demons, the evil, the uh, the, the, the pr uh, principalities, the powers, everything. They can feel that love. They can feel that unconditional love that's coming in for you. With that, they're gonna come in. They they trying to figure it out. They trying okay. What this love? This I feel that it's coming in. What is actually going on? Is this person what what's going on? So that when they get that feeling and they get that urge, they they see this love that's coming in. They feel this love, this connected, this thing that's that's around you. This this love, unconditional love is around you, and they can see it in the spiritual realm. So now they can see that in the spiritual realm, and that this love is around you, and that you're attracting this love, and it's coming in. They're gonna come. They're gonna come in and try to maneuver their way in. Okay. Now they may try to maneuver their way in like a friend. Oh, you know, it didn't work out between me and you, but, you know, we could just, I, you know, I miss our friendship. I, I miss, that's, a, that is deception and it's deceptive. I'm not saying they don't, they don't really, really want to be your friend. It's the intent behind it. They want to be your friend or they want to come in because number one, they want information. 
and if they can connect with you as being a friend on the phone in a text that's energy that's tapping into your energy if they can tap into your energy they can gain access and get understanding as as to where you are what's going on with you um but right now with your boundaries uh, with your boundaries and your guard up and your and you and you protect protecting yourself you set those boundaries those people can't cross it so they can't figure you out they can't figure out all they do is feel this this magnetic of unconditional love coming in for you and they going crazy do you like me they want to know do they still have a chance do you still like them they're dreaming about you because they dreaming about they seeing this unconditional love coming in it's a magnet towards you that you drawing it in and they're dreaming about this they going crazy um, they're not accepting the goodbye. You you've moved on, but they're not accepting this. They know that it. You said goodbye. You walked away. You have no intention. You'll have no intentions on coming back. But they're trying to find a way in. Wait. For some of you, they feel like they may have a chance. They feel like you still are harboring some type of feeling for them, but you're not. You're not saying it. So they want to come in and try to be a friend and try to maneuver their way back in. Hey, it's up to you. Everybody has choices, right? Everybody has choices. Make the right, make the best choice for you. So if you want to go back to this person, just know that if you go back to the go back to this person, this person won't come in for you they won't come in when you're entertaining somebody else right you have to totally release these people and move on okay this is the person choices they did not make the best choice concerning you they did not treat you right they made you an option and chose someone else they chose work they chose women. They chose men. They chose um, a, a, to be a player, a womanizer. They chose different. They chose a different way, but they didn't choose. They didn't choose you. What little did they not know that you were never an option. You was the choice. You was the one. Whatever it is that this person wanted in a relationship, it all stemmed from you. You were powerful. You were beautiful. You may didn't have all the money and the resources that other people may have had. This person was chasing money as well. They made a choice based off materialism. But the thing about it is that and I, I said this, and I believe it so much that the choice, when you make a choice for materialism, is so silly to me. Money come and money go. You can lose money just like that. But, and when you go for somebody for materialism, you got to work your, you got to work your off. For that money you got to put in time blood sweat and tears for that money now yeah you up there with the big dolls and moving and shaking and making all these decisions and have all these big sources of money and influence but at a price now when you are with someone when you connect with someone that a divine counterpart it don't go like that the divine counterpart may not have all this money that this other person may have, but your divine power, I mean, your divine counterpart has manifesting power, has the favor of the divine. And the money that you would make as a power couple with your counterpart, 
that money, you won't have to work as hard. Money, it will be manifested. Money will come to you. It will be attracted to you. You will be able to manifest. Money will come. Money will come and money will stay. That's the difference. When you with your divine counterpart, things are different. You don't have to be a workaholic. You can spend time and have happiness and joy and contentment. Yeah, you work. I'm not saying that they don't work and they don't work hard, but not like materialism. When you with your count counterpart, things are easier. Things come to you. Money flows to you. That the, 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 the power and the connection and the soul connection and everything that you two both possess, it attracts everything to your union. But this person made the wrong choice. They were looking at the wrong thing. And that is why this person is going to miss out. They made you look at yourself as you are a choice. I mean, that you are an option. They treated you like you was an option, I mean to say. But you never were. You were always the choice. You were always the one. You was always the one that would give, make this person whatever, or whatever idea they had, you would be able to manifest millions. Millions with the right counterpart. And look at this. I bury myself into work to forget you. So this person now knows. They now know they got to work their butt off. They made the wrong decision. And now their mind is messed up. And they trying to not acknowledge the fact that they made the wrong decision. You was never the option. You was the choice. You were the one. And they did not choose you. Now they got to work and continue to work. They A off. Right? They got to work hard. Because money come and money go when you thinking about it from a materialistic matter. You got to keep on generating you got people that's trying to steal from you, take from you. You got all that toxic energy all around your money. Right? But when you with your counterpart, you ain't got to worry about that. You're protected all the way around. Money is going to come to you. Money going to come try to find you and want to stay with you because you're blessed. You're blessed when you with your counterpart. You're blessed from all the way to the 5D, 9D, all the way down to the 3D. You're blessed. This person is confused. Why in the hell did I choose who I chose? They going through it. They got karma on their back. They got money. All this money that they stayed with this person and chose this person. This money is, is dwindling down to nothing. Everything they worked for. Everything they have. It's in the balance now. It's a tower moment. It's karma. Everything is karma now. This, is the, the, this year is about karma. What did you do? Is good karma coming to you? Or is bad karma coming to you? It's all according to what you have done in these last couple of years. You know, it's all according to that. And a lot of people, black magic, woulda, coulda, shoulda, let me stop her, let me stop him, let me do this, let me do that, let me try to uh, get their family, let me try to hurt them. Now they confused, broke, busted, and disgusted. All their money is... Uh, uh, dwindling down to nothing. Everything they work for is it is in the balance. It's up for grabs now. People stealing from them because they stole from you. People taking taking them for granted because they took you for granted. Somebody lying on them and 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 treating them with disrespect. 
because they did that to you. They getting karma for the different things that they have done. Okay. They want to talk to you, right? They want to talk to you. Both people want to talk to you, right? This person right here, they want to talk to you so they can try to get some type of forgiveness, get some type of foothold because um, they feel like this karma that they're going through right now is because of you. It's because, and if they can... Um, get some type of forgiveness. Maybe they can turn this thing around, but you can't turn around karma. You already did it. You will, you shall reap what you sow. If you didn't put anything good in it, you ain't going to get nothing good in it. You're going to be, you're going to be treated the way you treated other people. And especially if you have, uh, did black magic, you have interfered in divine business matters. You're going to feel it. Divine business matters mean that you have you have intervened in divine connections. You have intervened in in divine uh, uh, communications to get out to the masses. You have intervened. You're gonna pay a price for that. This person is gonna pay a price. Fit it in where it get in. But they want to talk to you. They want to clear the air. But you can't clear the air because what's done is done. Forgiveness, I'm sure, is already. And for those of you that have not forgiven, you need to forgive. Forgiveness is not for them. It's for you. If you're not forgiving people, you're going to stay stuck. You're going to stay uh, rooted in that unforgiveness. You will not be able to move forward. You will not be able to get this person coming in. If you're not forgiving, if you have not forgiven this person, or if you are holding on to unforgiveness, you, you, you're blocked. You're stuck. Okay. I just got to put that out there. So you know who you are. That's not, that's sitting around in unforgiveness and unwilling to forgive people. Forgive them. Forgive them. Those people, let me tell you, those people who are doing black magic on my channel, those tarot readers that's targeting me, those fr hater friends that I had, old friends that I have that's watching my tarot uh, card readings and hating and sending the evil eye, I already forgive all of them. I already know what they're doing and I forgive them. All the ex-lovers that's hating on me, that's uh, sending evil eye, doing black magic on me, I forgive them as well. They doing it right now and I forgive them because forgiveness it's not for them. It's for me. And I'm going to move forward in spite of them. I am determined the same way you need to be determined. If you are root, uh, sitting in unforgiveness, you need to deal with that. Because everything stems in the, in the background until you deal with that unforgiveness. Back to this. Talking. This person is interested in conversating more with you, okay? They're awaiting a message from you. They, they're going to send you a message, text, call, or email, and they're hovering over you, okay, is what this card says. They want to talk to you. They want to get back into your energy, your good graces. They want your forgiveness. They want your attention, this person here wants to talk to you, is going to want to come and talk to you. It's totally different. They want to be light. They want to, um, this person is going to be very attentive. Everything you say, they're going to be very attentive and very, and listen, very, listen to everything that you say. Um, they're going to be very interested in who you are. What you've been through, all of your story, your life story is going to intrigue them. They're going to want to know more about you. They're going to want to want to spend a lot of time with you. You're The more they know about you, the more that their heart is going to open up to you. The more that they express how you feel and the things, the hardships and the pains and the sufferings and the sacrifices that you had to make, it's going to open this person's heart even more and want to come into your life and give you that love, that attention that these people who harm you 
had uh, uh, placed you in a position where you had to be on guard all the time. This person is going to love you out of that. It's what I'm getting. And it, it's going to be through you compensating and being real and being honest with them. It says, your love note says, please don't hate me for ghosting you. You didn't deserve it. So this is going to be something that they're going to tell you when they talk to you, try to get back in with you. They ghosted you. They disrespected you. They didn't give you the honor um, that you deserve because you play, you put a lot of, of attention, a lot of time and a lot of effort into this person and into this um, relationship. And they just didn't give it to you. They treated you like you was an option. No, this so total disrespect, dishonor. Um, and now you know your worth. You know your worth. You know you know who you are. And you got more. You got better. You got better choices. You got people that want to actually get to know you and spend that quality time with you. This person didn't want to want to give you that time. They wanted to go from uh, and make choices and decisions based off of money and materialism. Whoever had more money or who had who had materialism, they went towards that person. They gave them their time and their effort. But you had everything. You didn't just have materialism. You could create materialism like that. You had everything that was that could bring abundance and success and everything into your life, into their life, without them having to work their fingers to the bones. You can manifest abundance. You had everything that was in you. But you just need to be connected to the right person. And they had their chance and they blew it. And there it is. Okay. So your angel message. It says no need to worry. No need to worry. Because your love is coming in. It's already around you. That unconditional love you already attract in that person. Some of you I already know it. I'm doing the wink. Some of you already got that love. Some of you already dating this person. Some of you already know what I'm talking about. You are in love with this person as we speak and they are in love with you. So with that being said, that has been your reading. Keep it going, y'all. All right, hit the comments. You already know what to do emojis all of that right hit the comments thumbs it up thumbs it down just thumbs the video all right it helps the channel share 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 put it on your instagram your websites your blogs share right subscribe all right hit the description box all of my social media is there and just to know if you go on my social if you um subscribe to my social media just don't subscribe go and look at the material it's a lot of material there yes i have not i have not done anything recent however i have poured a lot of time and attention in my social media take the time to go through and read it i guarantee you you will find something that will touch your heart touch your soul and give you maybe a, a answer to your question that you may need answers for all right so go check it out all right with all of that said i'm sending you love i'm sending healing your way and trinity is out.